The irony is obvious to almost everyone who works with fire. Humans may have been using it for more than a million years, but fire is still very much a mystery. <laughs> it is an enigma. It's, it's, it's extremely complex. This is the controller that controls how much propane goes in. Torben Grumstrup is the man controlling the flames, obsessed with calculating exactly how they behave. That helps us better understand the influences of these different variables, the size of the flame zone, the slope, the wind speed, these sorts of things. Welcome to the Missoula Fire Sciences Lab in Montana, the largest of its kind in the world. Around every corner, scientists are burning things, watching, learning, then, once again, setting them on fire. The results that we come to based on these experiments can be extrapolated to real world. That's called scaling. What they discover here is used by other researchers and on the front lines. For Grumstrup, it's the definition of applied science. He used to be a firefighter himself. He hopes his research, like his work on how fast fire spreads uphill, will help keep firefighters safe. If a firefighter sees some of my video of fire on a slope, that, that will stick in their mind so that the next time they, have, they, they are thinking about working above a fire, they'll think twice. Around the corner, Jason Forthoffer lights one of the most unusual fires you'll ever see. So there's no fans or anything going on here. This is all generated by the fire. This it's a tiny version of one of nature's most terrifying and least understood phenomena. A fire whirl, better known as a fire nado. Last summer, Redding, California was hit with the most intense fire tornado ever recorded. Really windy. They form when rising heat and turbulent winds combine and hit a natural obstacle. So if there's a fire burning on the lee side of that terrain obstruction, it can concentrate that vorticity and it can spin up to a fire tornado. Wow. Yeah. Experts say wildfires are getting more common and more intense, and the same will likely happen with fire tornadoes. This miniature version, like a fiery dust devil, allows Firthoffer to study how they form and how they move. Hopefully we can provide firefighters with enough training to, uh, as soon as they're forming, to get out of the way. So while firefighters deploy out in the wildlands, an equally important battle is being waged in a lab in the dark with a fire that never ends. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Missoula, Montana.